I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my solutions on international GCSE math papers. Here is a very interesting question, question number 21 from 2016 June. It is based on Venn diagrams. Question number 21 is, each student in a group of 32 was asked the question, do you have a desktop computer, a laptop or a tablet? Their answers showed that 19 students have a desktop computer, 17 students have laptop, 16 students have a tablet. 9 students have both desktop and laptop, 11 students have both desktop and tablet, and 7 students have both laptop and tablet. Now 5 students have all the 3. Questions for you are first make a Venn diagram and 21b the question is one of the student with both the desktop and a laptop is chosen at random. Find the probability that this student also has a tablet. Perfect. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Okay. So we're talking about three things, right? So we'll make three circles. So let's begin with making these three circles first. Let us say one is desktop. Second, let's make it for laptop. And let's say third one for the tablet. Okay. We'll assume there is an overlap, right? And it is given. All the numbers are given to us, right? So in our sample space, that is what we have. Okay. So whenever you have to fill in the numbers, you have to always write from inside out. So we'll begin with the inside number, which is five students have all the three. So we'll begin from here, right? Five students, and that is the portion which includes all, correct? Now let's name, let's say this is for desktop, and then let's take this for laptop and this for the tablet. So we'll go upwards. It says seven students have both laptop and tablet. So, so common is this portion, seven, five plus two. So we get two here. Perfect. Now, 11 students have both desktop and tablet. So desktop and, okay, uh, desktop and tablet means this portion, right? So we need 11 students have both desktop and tablet. So 11 will be 6 plus 5. Okay, so now let's take the next figure, which is Nine students have both desktop and laptop. So D and L, we have nine students. So five plus four. Does make sense to you, right? So that is how if you move, it is much, much simpler. Now, 16 students have tablets. So this should be 16 in all, right? So we already have six plus five, 11 and two, 13. So three left, right? Next for us is 17 students have laptop computer. So laptop is 17. So this should be 17, right? So we have 9 plus 2, 11 plus 6 is 17. Correct. The last one here is, uh, let's use a color which is not being utilized so far. Let's say this one, right? 19 students have desktop. So 10 and 5, 15, that means 4 left. So that is how you could complete your Venn diagram. So the idea here is to begin from the one which is most common, right? So that is the beginning point. Perfect. Now let's answer. First question has been answered, which is make a Venn diagram. There it is. One of the student with both desktop and laptop. So we are talking about this portion. One of the student from both desktop and laptop is chosen at random. Find the probability that this student also has tablet. So out of nine, the student has tablet means only five could have, right? So, so this is a group of nine. So it is, the answer is five out of nine. Do you see that? So that becomes your probability. So Tablet is with 5. 5 is common to all. Perfect. Out of 9 because you're only taking the group which is having both desktop and laptop. Does make sense to you. That is how it could be answered. 
I hope you understand and appreciate it. I'll also provide you with a link where you can practice with similar questions. Thanks for watching and all the best.